This is Thing On. Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. I'm very welcome, my friends, and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. And welcome to Friday's edition of the DCEU Daily. Yes, Patty Jenkins officially announced on her Twitter feed yesterday that Maxwell Lord will be in Wonder Woman 1984. I already knew this, of course, having seen the test screening. Um, but even if you haven't, it was pretty obvious Maxwell Lord was going to be in this um, movie, played by Pedro Pascal. So what can I tell you about Pedro Pascal's performance in Wonder Woman um, 1984? Pedro is also in the new Star Wars Disney Plus series, The Mandalorian, so he's getting about. Pedro Pascal's performance as Maxwell Lord is absolutely fantastic. He will give you shivers. He will remind you of the comic book version. Um, there have been a few live action versions of him in Supergirl, played by some pretty boy actor. We don't need to talk about that. We had a more superior version in season nine of Smallville, which was pretty awesome too. But this is the real deal. I'm so happy that Pedro Pascal is playing Maxwell Lord. I'm happy that Maxwell Lord is in this film. Um, and I think you're going to be pretty surprised in the role he plays in this film too. So very, very interesting that Patty announced that character. I think this will get people very pumped. Of course, um, on, on the week, uh, I think the week ending December the 8th, um, Patty Jenkins, Gal Gadot and the rest of the Wonder Woman 84 team begin the Wonder Woman 1984 press tour in Brazil. But saying that we didn't know Birds of Prey and the Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, that team, that cast, will be in Brazil promoting that movie too. So both DCEU movies will be marketing themselves at this Brazilian Comic-Con. I forgot what it's exactly called. So that's very, very exciting. We're back with the DCEU. Only one DCEU movie this year in the frame of Shazam, which was very successful no matter what the haters say. A successful film and a very good film too. Um, but yes, Maxwell Lord is a brilliant character in the comics. And he's a brilliant character in, in, in this film as well. I can say nothing more than that, that you will be very, very pleased with Maxwell Lord. Now, um, some very interesting rumours are developing about HBO Max. Apparently, some DCEU TV shows are about to be announced, or at least DC TV shows. So I have a little theory for you. I have no evidence of this. No one's whispered in my ear this time. Sorry about that. So I don't want you to get your hopes up. Uh, but what about if Ben Affleck's Batman gets his own HBO Max TV show? Now, there have been rumours that the Snyder Cut will be announced um, uh, via HBO Max. I don't think that's on the cards right now. I think... Sooner rather than later, they're going to announce the Snyder Cut. But I, I think the more pressing announcement are these live-action DC shows on HBO Max. Now, these are going to be very different to what you're seeing on The CW and what you're seeing on HBO's Watchmen and what you're seeing on DC Universe with, um, with, um, with Titans and the other shows they're doing. These are going to be proper HBO DC TV shows. Now, what interests me about this is what kind of network HBO is and what kind of um, streaming service HBO Max is going to be. So they are going to announce some DC TV shows for the new streaming service out, or I think around next March or April, if I'm correct. And wouldn't it be amazing? As I say, I have no evidence that this is actually going to happen. But what if Henry Cavill's Superman and um, Ben Affleck's Batman actually get their own um, HBO Max TV shows this could be a very, very interesting way, which would, of course, mean that if we, I mean, we've already got a Batman movie, which is not set in the DCEU. That's obvious. And we'll probably get a Superman movie not set in the DCEU as well. So what if we are getting these DCEU TV shows about Ben Affleck's Batman and Henry Cavill's Superman? Is it doable? Henry is just about finished doing The Witcher, which um, I think launches on Netflix in December. More promotions to come. More words from him. I think, I mean, I'm probably going to get burned for this. But, I mean, I'm going to ask you this question. What would you rather see on HBO Max? 
uh, the Snyder Cut, or a Henry Cavill Superman TV show, or and the Ben Affleck Batman TV series. I mean, as much as I'm desperate and as hard as I fought like everyone else to release the Snyder Cut, that would tear me. And I, I'd love to see what you have to say about that. I don't want to be too loud about it, but I think the potential of a Superman TV show starring Henry Cavill and a Batman TV show starring Ben Affleck would be very, very exciting. Because what we know is HBO Max is going to put, a, you know, Warner Brothers are going to put a lot of money into this streaming service. So it will be like watching movies. So you could get, what, maybe five episodes a season or something like that. It would be very, very interesting. Now, whether or not Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck would be interested, and I think they would be, um, it would be a very interest. It would be two very, very interesting TV shows. And I know that you guys support Henry Superman and support Batfleck. And I know that you you guys would be very, very excited. And I think what you could do, you, the, the exploration, um, having a even a direct sequel of Man of Steel via a TV show on HBO Max would be brilliant. Then you could have a team up between Superman. And Batflack, Bat, Batflack, Bat, I can never get my words out. It's first thing in the morning. Please forgive me. I'm still half cut. Not very professional to do a YouTube video when you're half cut. But hey, I think I'm doing okay. So yeah, I would, look, I'm going to be honest. If, if that is the plan, and if we're not going to get them on the film universe anymore, but they're going to get these, hey, look, this is just, look, I'll be honest. If this was Chris Swanson, Chris Swanson? I'm really bad this morning. If this was Chris um, Juan Swenson, right, from Ping Pong Flicks, he'd be wearing his tin foil hat, wouldn't he? And basically, call me tin foil. Imagine I'm wearing a tin foil hat. Because that's all this is. This is fantasy. I think it's hugely unlikely, because we've already got a brand new Batman for the, for the DC Films universe, and I think we're going to get a brand new Superman kind of universe as well. So I think the only chance of seeing Batfleck and Cavill Superman would be via um, a streaming series on HBO Max. I mean, you could even have a team-up series with um, Batfleck and Henry Superman. The, you know, the potential is limitless. I, I hope they do it. And as I say, this is just me wishing and hoping. Of course, we would love the Snyder Cut and uh, a Batman TV series and a Superman TV series starring Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill, but um, at the end of the day, I may not be that far away from the truth. I think we're going to get some very surprise announcements. Now, apparently this is happening at the end of this month, these announcements about DC TV shows. So, as I say, very interesting what direction they're going to go here. Probably knowing my luck, they're just going to announce a Mirror TV show. Hey, which I'd be down for. That would be Awesome. I thought Mira was awesome in Aquaman. So we'll see what they're going to do there. But certainly we have no evidence that these are going to be direct DCEU TV shows. These could be brand new DC TV shows. But there's no question about it. Um, this is going to happen. Um, you're going to say to me, so what's the point of DC Universe? Well, DC Universe are doing their things via what Belant is doing over there. And he's very much involved and he's involved with the CW shows as well. And that's great. Though that stuff has an audience. Now, in the CW shows, which I departed from after season two of Arrow and the Flash, and I'll be pretty clear now, um, Arrow is finishing this year, and they're trying to convince us that this is a beautiful booking. And all they're really doing is using Arrow for their crisis storyline, which I think is despicable in a final season of a show that's lasted eight years. And I just thought I'd say that because it's been on the back of my mind for a long time. They watered down Arrow after season two, and it is despicable because the CW are despicable when I think about what they tried to do to my beloved Smallville as well. But I want you to comment down below. This is very important to me. Would you watch the shit out of a Henry Cavill Superman streaming HBO Max TV series and a Batman um, a Ben Affleck TV series as well? I mean, my answer is absolutely yes. I would watch the living crap out of that. That would really, really excite me. So the Joker goes from strength to strength. The box office getting better and better. It looks like it's going to be the most successful R-rated movie um, of all time, which I warned you about before a ball was kicked, before it was released. Go back to my homepage and remember what I said after I saw 
the test screening for the Joker movie. So, as I said yesterday, people are going to the Bronx and dancing on those stairs. So, what happened to all this violence that was going to happen? These incels being activated, what happened to all that? Because all I can see from the public, the public have been captivated by this film. This is probably one of the best films in the last 10 years because it's telling a real story with real commentary and it's actually a great version of the Joker. Get me some more of those. That's what Warner Brothers are going to be saying. Don't forget, you can continue the conversation over on my Twitter at Movies TV Mad, and we will speak tomorrow. A lot more stuff going on tomorrow than today, I think. Not much news, but if anything breaks in the DC universe, in the DC movies, I'll be right back. Don't you worry about that.